the thumbnail was not clickbait i mean it 100 percent this business model requires zero capital zero skills and is 100 percent lucrative trust me are you curious to know what this business model is all about then stick around If you're a first timer here, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Victor Isibo, the face behind Victor Isibo Reviews. Here we talk finances, we talk morality, we talk spirituality, safety, pretty much everything that makes you a better version of yourself. If stuff like this is what tickles your fancy, then you may consider subscribing make sure to turn on the bell notification icon so that you would be notified when i do another interesting video and to my returning subscribers and viewers salute it's a pleasure having you back on my channel now i quite understand the economic situation not only in nigeria africa but globally now the rate of unemployment is increasing and you know businesses are good but you know sourcing for the capital could be tricky because banks don't want to give you loans because you do not have collateral like they say banks only give loans to people who don't need it hmm? what do i mean before a bank will give you a loan of 1 million they want you to have a property of say 10 million which would stand as your collateral so at the end of the day it means that they're giving loans to people who don't really need it in that sense of the word because the needy ones are not going to be able to fulfill the collateral requirement now unemployment bad governance of your country and stuff like that there is still a way to survive for anybody who is willing to put in the work now, I presume that you're willing to put in the work despite your current financial status. And that's why you clicked on this video. So I'm going to be sharing with you a simple business model that doesn't require any capital. It doesn't require any experience and you can start today. I'll start with a story. Now, my female colleague and her family were residing in Lagos State, Nigeria. So she got transferred and they decided to relocate from Lagos to another city. Yeah. Okay now. So she decided that her house in Lagos had to be up for sale. Now she just informed me personally like she wanted to sell that house. So I put out word to one or two persons that a colleague had a house for sale. I spoke to an agent or two and you know they started looking for a potential buyer eventually we got a buyer for the house and the house was sold at 50 million now the agent who sold it for 50 million was very very transparent with me he told me boy I brought the buyer you Victor have the seller now the agreement the agency fees to be paid is to be split in between the buyer and the seller the total amounting to 10 percent so now my buyer is going to pay us five percent okay then your seller is going to pay us five percent since i brought the buyer the agent was speaking i'm going to keep the five percent from my buyer while you keep the five percent from your seller now he gets to pocket 2.5 million i get to pocket 2.5 million as simple as that that is it i got 2.5 million in in us dollars that's a, uh, that's about five thousand dollars from you know bringing a buyer uh, to buy a property so if you can begin to um bring buyers to sellers 
like a connect between buyers and sellers, you can be getting commissions in form of agency fees. I do not know about other parts of the world, but in Nigeria, there are no specific registrations for you to become an estate agent. No, in Nigeria, there are no such regulations. Okay, 70% of the agents that you get to meet in Nigeria are not certified real estate agents. Okay, they just practice. Now, when someone is jobless in Nigeria, the easiest job that you see them gravitating towards is agency. Okay, every jobless man or woman is a potential estate agent. Now, you have no excuse not to go into this business if you have no job and you have no thriving business. All you need to do is this. This is the game plan. Leave your house. Take a stroll around your neighborhood. You see a site where they're building a house. Speak with the engineer in charge. Ask if you can have a word with the owner of the house. If he says yes, fine. If he says no, then assume that he is the owner and tell him what you would have told the owner if you had his or her audience. Let the engineer in charge know that you are into agency and if at completion they intend to put that house on rent, you want to be the agent in charge. Now, it's either they give you a yes, go ahead when we complete the house, look for tenants, or they tell you that there's an agent in charge. If there's an agent in charge already, ask to meet with the agent in charge. When you meet the agent in charge, the agent is in charge in name only. If you are lucky to bring the buyer, you people are going to decide on a sharing formula and you get a cut of the commission. Now, this business is very lucrative. I know a lot of people that are agents, real estate agents, and they're making a lot of money. If you if you if you if you look at your social media influencers very well, majority of them are now advertising properties. Now, so you have internet and you have a smartphone and you're on WhatsApp. What do you put on your WhatsApp statuses? You can as well put pictures of apartments that are up for sale, up for rent, or vehicles up for sale. Advertise them, put your WhatsApp status to good use. Somebody is going to tell somebody and somebody is going to tell somebody and your phone is going to ring and somebody is going to buy one of the properties you have up for sale and you're going to be getting like 10% of the total cost of the property. If you're able to sell a 50 million property, you're going to be getting 5 million. What? 5 million. You heard me right. 5 million. Okay, so they charge they charge ten percent for sales. They charge twenty percent for rental. If you put up an apartment for rent, and a tenant comes and pays that amount of money, your agency fee is going to be twenty percent. Now, when you start doing this business and you're not getting to meet more landlords, more and more landlords, you're making a name for yourself. You're building a resume for yourself. One day, somebody is going to. Uh, build a house you help them get tenants they're just going to tell you one day why don't you just manage this house i'm traveling out of the country manage this house get the rent for me annually take 10 percent of it and send me my rent now if the total rent of a particular property annually is 1 million and you're getting 10 percent of it that is a hundred thousand if you have 10 of such properties that means you're getting 1 million annually by for collecting rent for somebody who is not in the country now i understand that collecting of rent annually and getting percentage you know lawyers lawyers have invaded this particular niche but you can still thrive in the niche some tenants are quite cooperative and they would pay irrespective of whether you're a lawyer or not if they know that you're in charge of the house they will pay if they don't pay you can get a lawyer involved it's not the exclusive right of lawyers to collect the rent you know anybody can put anybody in charge of their property to be getting the rent now so agency is top notch everything you get is profit all you need to do is keep your eyes open then keep walking around if you see three bedroom flat for sale 
or three bedroom flat to let now you're not the agent involved but you can always work with the agent involved now i've rented a property before uh, the agent took me to the property eventually i found out that he just saw the vacancy the same way i would have seen the vacancy if i had passed through that street he saw the vacancy he didn't know the landlord he didn't even know the agent involved but he was searching for a property for me so the moment you know i showed interest in that property and i wanted to make payment i was negotiating with another agent entirely i found out that at the end of the day they shared the commission i paid equally so this is something you can start today the only excuse you can give me for not starting this business is laziness this is going to fetch you a whole lot of money i know people who are estate agents over the years they have bought properties of their own they drive good cars and their children attend good schools and that is what they do 100 percent no other side hustle just this i hope you learned something from this video and i hope you will take action share this video with everyone who needs to see it give this video a like and subscribe if this was your first time Till I see you in the next one, I remain Victor Isibo. It's bye for now.